हेलो गाइस सभी का स्वागत है दिशु से वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी अनदर क्वेश्चन ऑफ हैकर रैंक 1 मंथ प्रिपरेशन किट व्हिच इज परमिटिंग परमिटिंग टू अरेस सो लेट्स सी नाउ हेलो गाइस आई एम सूर्य तेजा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन एंड सॉल्यूशन फॉर द प्रॉब्लम परमिटिंग टू अरेस सो लेट्स सी द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट at first there are two n element arrays a and b that means we we are given two arrays a and b which are of size n we have to perm permute them into some a dash and b dash such that the relation okay let me explain you for till this uh, a dash and b dash permute them into a dash and b dash that means if our array elements are zero one then we can interchange their positions that means a dash and b dash contains the elements of a and b only but interchange so we have to permute a and b arrays such that the relation a dash of i plus b dash of i greater than or equal to k holds for all i where i less than equal to 0 uh, 0 less than equal to i less than n that means for every index in element array of a dash uh, index of uh, element at index of a i th index of sorry element at i th index in a dash array and element at i th index in b dash when we do both their sum their sum should be greater than equal to k that is what he is saying there will be q carries containing a comma b and k for each query written s yes, if the sum of some permutation a dash b dash and find the relation exists otherwise written no so we can understand it better with the example here the given a array is 0 comma 1 and b array is 0 comma 2 and k is 1 we have to permit this a array and we have to permit this b array that means we have to interchange the position of elements of this a array and interchange the elements of elements positions of b array such that when we add i elements they should be greater than equal to k so here when we add 0 plus 0 so he here he has given a valid a dash b dash permutation a dash permutation is 0 1 that means he interchange it 0 with 1 0 with 1 and b dash permutation is 0 comma 2 so he made it like that only he took the same permutation so what we have to do is at current in current index let i equal to 0 At zero to in zero to index, we have to add these both elements. Sorry, ah, uh, we have to add elements of a dash and b dash, right? So at zero to index, we have one here. At zero to index, we have zero here. So one plus zero is nothing but one, which is greater than or equal to k. So one plus zero is greater than or equal to k. So this condition is satisfied, and this condition should be satisfied. till all the elements of a dash and b dash so next i equal to 1 at 1th index we had 0 and at 1th index we had 2 in b dash array so 0 plus 2 is nothing but 2 which is greater than or equal to k that is 1 so for all the elements of a dash and b dash this condition is getting this condition is becoming true so we have to return yes otherwise we have to return no here complete the two arrays function in the editor below it should return a string yes or no as you can see it here we have given two arrays function and it is it is taking three parameters if you see k which is an integer a of n which is nothing but an array First array, B of n, which is nothing, nothing but second. We have to return either yes or true. These are strings. We have to return the string data type. 
input format is nothing but uh, first line contains integer q q is number of queries that means number of test cases first line contains two space separated integers n and k n is nothing but the size of array k is the variable that need to be checked for checked condition for the size of both arrays a and b is n only after this n and k variables uh, second line contains n space separated integers that means elements of a of i and then we will have elements of b of i again here uh, here it is uh, another example here q first input is 2 which is nothing but queries number of queries number of queries is 2 number of queries is nothing but number of test cases again input is 3 3 is nothing but n n is 3 and next input is 10 10 is nothing but k and our arrays this is a array this is b array this is b array a array and b array now this is second test case this is n which is 4 and this is pi which is nothing but k so this is again a and b for given values of a array b array and k we have to return either yes or no for each test case so for first test case it is yes and second test case it is no let's see the explanation the a dash permutation of the given arrays let me okay for this a this a has two one three as elements he permuted it to one two three and then this is b array which is nothing but seven eight nine he is permuted it as 7987. Seven. So after permuting it, he is checking whether okay, he is checking for the condition. This condition A of i plus B of i should be greater than or equal to k. This is the condition. A of i sorry, a dash of i plus b dash of i greater than or equal to k should be hold true for all values of i so that is what he has written here a of 0 okay here it should be 0 and not 1 it got printed wrong so 0th position element of a and 0th, 0th element of b so here 1 plus 9 1 plus 9 is 10 so 10 should be greater than or equal to k here k is given as 10 so 10 is greater than or equal to 10 this is true again at first position first position we had 2 and here first position we had 8 2 plus 8 is nothing but 10 10 is greater than or equal to 10 which is true again true again we have to check for the second index element here second index element of a dash is 3 and second index element of b dash is 7 so 3 plus 7 is nothing but 10 and 10 is greater than or equal to 10 so it is true so since for all indexes this condition is becoming true so we have to return true that is why here answer for first test case is true and for the second test case given array is 1 2 2 1 and he made it as 1 2 2 1 he permitted to same way okay there too okay he has given here rs only and here he has given k to permit a and b into valid a valid a dash and b dash there must be at least three numbers in a greater than okay what he is saying is there is no valid permutation of a and b into a dash and b dash such that this condition holds true which condition this condition that is why he is pretending no so let us see the code for this question okay 
since we have to fill the function in the hacker rank i have wrote the function and uh, other this code is for taking input i will go through this code briefly here uh, we have uh, we have created the scanner object and using the scanner object we have we are inputting the that means we are taking the number of test cases so if you see here the number of test cases is 2 which is taken by this line and for each test case what i am doing is i am taking the values of n and k so these are n and k since n is 3 since n is 3 our two arrays would be 2 1 3 of size 3 and 7 8 9 of size 3 so i am taking here two arrays okay let me tell you one thing since since he has taken parameters as list array list we are also taking it as array list and not as arrays so with this each for loop i am adding elements into a array list and b array list so we have taken this inputs for the first test case and we are calling the function to two arrays function and the value written by it is stored into answer variable and we are printing the answer so in two arrays function we are get, we are taking parameters as k a list and b list so we have to return either yes or true based on that we will print the answer so for the first test case the output should be a sign no so let us write the code for this let me take the same values this is b array this is a array and n is p here which is nothing but the sizes of files if you clearly observe our question is we have to permute a and b into a dash and b dash such that this condition should hold true the condition is let me write the condition a dash of i is b dash of y should be greater than or equal to k if you see this condition carefully we have to maximize the sum of a dash and b dash so if sum of a dash and b dash is maximum then there is a possibility that that sum will be greater than or equal to k so let me now my a dash and b dash arrays if you so if you permute this array into ascending order let's say i permute it into ascending order 1 2 three and let's say i permuted it into i changed it into descending order 9 8 seven so we, we can calculate a dash of i plus b dash of i for each index so indexes will be from 0 one 2 this one is so 
ओके वन प्लस नाइन इज टेन टू प्लस एट इज टेन एंड थ्री प्लस सेवन इज टेन तो वाट वी आर डूइंग इज वी आर टर्मिनेटिंग ए आर ए into a as such that it is in increasing order similarly we are also permuting b r a into b l s r a such that it is in decreasing order i will tell you why we are doing this so what we are doing is we are essentially we are making an ascending order of this ara and descending order of bra so that the minimum element of ara will be at first position and the maximum element of bra will be at first position so we are adding minimum element and maximum element so that our sum will be maximum sum of this one and sum of nine will be maximum if we permute this bra also into increasing order then first element in this b dash would be seven and first element in a dash is one so one plus seven is eight which is lesser value compared to adding minimum and maximum so here we are adding first minimum of a array and first maximum of b array then we are adding second minimum of a array and second maximum of b array so that we are trying to maximize the sum of a dash of i plus b dash of i this is we are trying to do because if this sum is more greater then it will be definitely be greater than or equal to k that is what our aim is so we can do this what we can do is we can alternatively do this as we can permute a array into in decreasing order so if we do it decreasing order then 3 to 1 will be the array and b dash array will be You can make it in increasing seven, eight, nine. We have made it in decreasing order. Here B dash B and B dash. we can either modify a array into increasing order or b array into decreasing order or we can modify a array into decreasing order and b array into increasing order we have to we have to sort them in such that they are both in reverse orders that means they should be in vice versa orders that means they should be in alternative orders so if you check here also i think it's at i think it's sum of in elements is 3 plus 7 which is nothing but 10 again 2 plus 8 which is nothing but 10 and 1 plus 9 which is nothing but 10 all these values are greater than or equal to k so in both cases what we are doing is we are trying to maximize the sum a dash of i plus b dash of i so for the given array what we have to do is we have to sort an array in ascending order and another array in descending order we have to check whether sum at each index is greater than or equal to k then we should return to else false so that is that i will write at first we can sort those arrays collections of sort
this is a inbuilt method inbuilt method which is available in collections and we can choose it to sort arrays into ascending order that means increasing order We have to sort B as well. But we can what we can do is what we can do is we can sort both ARS and BRS into same ascending order and we can check first and last elements. So let me let me copy the same. in this case we are sorting both in, in increasing order only but what we can do is we can compare this first element sorry we can add first element with last element and we can check whether this sum is greater than or equal to k and then we can find sum of second element and second element and we can check whether it is whether the sum is greater than or equal to k or what we uh, and then next thing is we can check this last element and this first element and we can check whether it is greater than or equal to k so what is what are we doing is we can essentially sort this both arrays into increasing order or we can also do it using both uh, sorting in decreasing order as well but we can sort both this into same order and we can come add first element and last element and second element Okay, sorry guys, my connection got lost. So what we are discussing is we are uh, sorting both arrays into ascending only. We can do it uh, by sorting one in ascending and one in descending also. It's not a problem, but we can do like this also. Sorting both arrays into okay, ascending order. Ascending order is nothing but increasing order only. Both are same, more or less the same. So what we can do is we can uh, iterate from iterate. Okay, if you see, I have sorted it in ascending order only. Both are, both are is. So what we can do is we can iterate one array from start, and we can iterate second array from last. So that we can add, let us say we we had a uh, variable, let's say i. So let me hold it for you. i is starting from 0th index. i is starting from 0th index. And j is starting from last index. Last index is nothing but a dot i is minus one we kept this minus one because array indexing always starts from zero so what we can do is we can write a loop while a dot get i okay, okay. i greater than or equal to I greater than J. So um, I plus plus J minus minus. So what I have done is I have created two variables I and J. So I is pointing to zeroth index and J is pointing to last index. Okay, J is pointing to last index of B. We can take here B or A, both are same because both uh, a and b are of size n so whatever uh, 
approaches we have to take the element at ith position of first array that means a and we have to sum it with j uh, element at j position of b array so let me create a variable sum sum of a dot get i we are getting ith element from a and jth element from i we are summing them up if this sum is less than k if any of the sum of i and j is less than k that means what happened is we did not okay, we do not satisfy the condition that is why the condition if you see our condition is our condition should be greater than or equal to k you can also see here our condition should be greater than or equal to k then k is nothing so here we got less than k that means our condition condition is not satisfied so we can directly here return as no so when this condition is never met that means our loop running from i equal to 0 to mid value and j equal to 0 to mid value that is the condition i have wrote when i is becoming greater than j we are exiting the loop that means when i equal to 0 and i equal to 1 if i equal to 2 then j would be j equal to 0 j equal to 1 and j equal to 1 and here i is becoming greater than j j will become here 0 and i will become here 2 so when this condition is becoming true we have to exit sorry sorry i have written it wrong it should be less than equal to why because i is starting from 0 and j is starting from last index n so i moves one step at a time and j moves one step at a time when this i and j are both at same positions we have to calculate the sum so even i and j are at same positions we are calculating sum when i becomes greater than j so when i becomes 2 and j becomes 0 we don't need to calculate this sum So I am writing this condition in order to exit the loop. So when this condition is never met, that means after this condition, after this while loop, what we can say is we already satisfied the condition. So what we can do is we can directly return yes. Okay, wait, let me think for a while. One, nine, two, eight. Okay, we need to check this also. Sorry, we need to check for three and seven also. So what we can write is condition i should be less than n and j should be greater than or equal to zero. Sorry, I flipped this. We have to check for 1 and 9, then 2 and 8, then 3 and 7. So I will become n minus 1. So that is why I wrote i less than n. And here j is starting from n minus 1 to and going till 0. So that is why I wrote j greater than or equal to 0. for current and like current j we have to calculate the sum after that we have to increment it so okay sorry i have to take this out 
have to increment them only after calculating some. Let us check whether it is running properly or not. Okay, cannot find symbol n. Okay, okay. There is no variable here as n because uh, we have not passed n. We can find the value of n using this size method. We can write a dot size method. A dot size is nothing but the n. Okay, we are getting yes sign no for this input. I will show where the input is. Okay, for this input, we are getting yes sign no, which is correct. Let me check for another test case also. For this test case, we have to get answer as no. Answer should be no. And we got it as no. Okay, it's working fine. Let us paste this code into hacker. I have already done this and pasted, but still we can paste the current code. Let us run. Okay, it is passing the two cases that is in that is well running. Okay, I will submit the code. Okay, it is code is passing all the test cases and uh, we have done with the solution. This is the solution for the permitting to RS problem. So hope and, you like. Uh, okay, okay. Continue. Let me continue. Also, one thing I want to tell is uh, since this while loop is running from 0th index to nth index and simultaneously j is running from nth index to 0th index, the time complexity of this code is order of n. Time complexity is order of n. And space complexity of this code is since we are not creating any new array or anything, we are using the given arrays itself and we are modifying them only. So space complexity is nothing but order of pair. Only we just created a new variables only. So it doesn't matter in, in case of size. So our space complexity order of one and time complexity is order of pair. This is the solution for this uh, Question permitting to RS and we can discuss another solution from another problem in next video. So don't, don't, for right. so don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh we'll see you next video. Bye bye. The fakeness, if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, although we show up.